Hey everyone, welcome back to another Tic Tac Taiko. Today I've got the Taiko on and we're going to talk about the different sounds you can make on this. Let's go. Let me tell you how the Taiko One is set up. You have a hundred different sound banks to play with. Half of them are empty. They're meant to be customized if you want to go that route. The other 50 are preloaded with sounds. Each sound bank has four sounds, one for each head and one for each rim. There is a sound bank that only has three sounds, but I don't want to focus on that and make it feel bad. Each sound has six different volumes, and you can see what volume level you're playing at on the indicator bar on the top of the status screen. There are also different tones for the heads of the drum. If you play a regular drum in the center, it's going to sound different than if you play it near the rim. And uh, as I'll show you, you can hear the difference in sound when you play the center moving towards the rim and back to the center. So there are two tones per drum head sound, but I, I kind of feel like there's a third unofficial sound that's in between the two areas that overlap. But this is just my, my perception. Someone else might not hear it or think there's even more. Some sounds on the Taika One transform as you play them louder. They become something completely different. But rather than try to explain it, I'll demonstrate it as I play those sounds. It's really cool. They're kind of hidden or bonus sounds that you don't expect, so you wind up trying to find them all like Pokemon. Maybe not like Pokemon. Overall, using some maybe questionable math, I've come up with over 200 individual sounds and over 2,000 total sounds. And the 2,000 comes from including the different volume levels and the different tones that you get on the head. Even if I'm off a couple of hundred, that's pretty impressive for a single drum. Today, I'm covering 16 of the 50 total sound banks. That's about a third. I feel like this is enough for people who are interested in taiko, percussionists, people who do electronic music composition and are looking at the taiko one as a potential buy, or just people who are curious. The 16 banks that I've chosen give a really good range of the sounds that are available. And before I get to playing, I just want to say, a thumbs up lets me know you liked this video, found it informative, useful, amusing, whatever it is, you liked it, let me know. All right, let's get on to the demo. It makes sense that the first sound bank is called Katsugi One. It's the Taiko One after all, so why not call it the Katsugi One? And it's shaped like a Katsugi Okero, so there you go. The second sound bank is Nagado Large. If you don't know, the Nagado Taiko is essentially the generic barrel-shaped Taiko that most people are familiar with.
when I first saw the description dual Shima, I thought maybe we're hitting two Shima at the same time or close together. But no, you're actually getting two Shima per side, which is a total of four different Shima tones. I really like the Odaiko sound bank. The head sound has a really nice reverberation, but if you've ever played an Odaiko and you've hit the rim, the ka, the head will also vibrate, will resonate, and it creates a, a really interesting sound, and you get that sound with this sound bank. So make sure you listen for that. Space Daiko has to be my favorite name of all of the sound banks. Listen carefully to the first three sounds. They all have a very interesting reverb, but the second sound, the one played on the left head, has a really cool harmonic feature, which happens on a few different sounds. After I do my normal sequence, I'm going to play against the left head rapidly. You can hear the harmonics change going higher and lower when I play it this way, much easier.
The Echo FX sound bank is the first sound bank to have the transformative or transforming sounds that I mentioned. Listen to the first, third, and fourth sound and you'll see what I mean. I decided to include the Ohira Daiko sound bank because I thought it would be good for people to hear one of the other large drums, not just the Odaiko. If you're not sure or you don't know what the Ohira Daiko is, it's essentially an Odaiko, a large drum, that's squished. Think of it as a patty. And in fact, I've heard people say this has been called the Hamboga or Bigomaku Daiko. The way I define the shuffle sound bank is there's a room full of equipment and somebody just handed you a low drum, a high drum, and two types of percussion. The next two sound banks are just a couple of the ensemble sound banks. They end with E and S. The idea is that you have multiple drums of the same type playing at once to simulate a group of people playing.
The sounds in the Tatsumi kit are going to be very familiar to any taiko player and really anyone who's heard classical Japanese music. The last two sounds played on the rim are particularly interesting and transforming. Club drums is an interesting sound bank. The sounds on the left side of the drum, the second and fourth hits, have the harmonics that change as you play. And as I did before, after I do the initial sequence, I'll focus on both of those so you can hear. I wasn't quite sure how to change the harmonics at will on the rim on the left side, but you can hear it changing. The dark ambient sound bank is really cool. All of the sounds take a while to build and take a long while to resolve.
The next two sound banks are some of the easy variety. The easy Nagato, as best as I can tell, is like some of the other Nagato sound banks, but with less, I say, options. The two heads sound almost identical, but they are slightly different. And there is really no change in tone if you play the head versus play the rim. Easy Shime is even more identical between the two sides than Easy Nagado. If you've made it this far, congratulations. You deserve a treat, and I'm gonna give you my very favorite sound bank, number 36, Kakegoe. I'm not gonna explain it, just enjoy. For 16 sound banks, that's a lot of material, right? Now you see why I didn't do all 50. Some of you probably skipped to the end because you weren't interested in all the different sounds. But I want to say this, I am willing to do a video on all 50 sound banks if there's interest. So if you are interested, let me know in the comments section, send me an email, find me on Facebook. If there's enough people who want to hear all 50 in this kind of format, I will do it. I almost forgot. In my last video, I had someone ask me, what does this sound like when you have headphones on? In other words, how audible is it to play on this with neighbors or roommates, etc.? So it's not plugged in right now. This is what it's going to sound like to other people if you're playing it. It's basically like hitting a bunch of drum pads. You've got your rim. You've got your pad. It's not quiet. If you're at home and it's a quiet house or quiet apartment, it's gonna go through a door. It might go through a wall, but it's essentially a drum pad. So if you feel like you can get away with it and maybe play lighter and 
crank up the volume on your headphones, you can get a good use out of this without annoying people. But if you're going to wail on it, it's going to be heard. Next week, I'm going to be doing one more video on the Taiko One, my third Taiko One video in a row, and I'm going to talk about the built-in features that come with the drum, stuff I didn't know about, and I know Taiko players will find it useful. I find it useful. I'm going to be playing around with them. After next week, I won't be doing a Taiko One video every single time. You will see this in compositions, in drills, in just me goofing around because it's been a while since I've been able to really play with a Katsugi Oketo. I feel like it's one of my specialty instruments and I can't wait. I would play my regular one, but the neighbors may hate me. Yeah, they probably already hate me already, but they would hate me more and I don't want that. For the future, if you want to see more Taiko One, if you have questions about what it can do, if you've heard things, if you just want to see what's going on, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, I've got a special on subscriptions today. If you subscribe today, you are a good person. You can't beat that deal, right? I mean, you might find two for one nachos, which is an awesome deal, but it's not as good as being a good person. And you can get the nachos and be a good person. So hit that subscribe button, be a good person, make my day. And until next time, keep practicing and be welcome.